1614, Adrian Block, a Dutch explorer, sailed through the Long Island Sound to the Connecticut River. In 1640, Elizabeth Winthrop, her husband Robert Feek, along with their friend Captain Daniel Patrick, traveled to an untamed wilderness and purchased land from the Indians in an exchange for 25 coats. In 1665, Greenwich declared itself a separate township. 27 different colonists purchased more land in and around Greenwich. Among those names was a Joseph Mead. The settlement was called Horseneck, and their land was particularly fertile. For the next 200 years, this point of land would be farmed by the Oliver Mead family. There were beautiful springs, some very close to the shore, where both cattle grazed and picnickers came from Round Hill and Stanwich to swim in the sound near Horseneck Field Point and out to Round Island. In the early 1800s, Greenwich farmers grew and shipped major produce from Cos Cobb, supplying the growing population of New York City. But by mid-century, the local landscape was beginning to change. The railroad came to town and later steamship service. Fashionable inns were springing up along the Greenwich landscape, attracting wealthy New Yorkers for the summer season. In 1886, the Bellhaven Casino provided the focal point for much of the Greenwich social scene. The emergence of Bellhaven was a part of this many in the city wanting to move out into the country, uh, still having some connection to culture, to art, and to work in the city, but still be out in the country and be able to enjoy this new leisure life which would involve anything from horse riding to yachts to any number of leisurely picnic activities. But this brings with it, of course, with Bellhaven, the emergence of this idea of the summer um, retreat or the summer cottages that develop all along the uh, Gold Coast. From 1870 to 